Well, hi everybody. Welcome to the Frank Factor. Remember me? <laughs> hey, how are you? Uh, I don't expect that there's many people left that will even know that this is here, but I thought I'd uh, come back and have a visit. And uh, I'm considering doing a few, well, a few little commentaries. I mean, why not? Who cares? There's uh, things have changed since my last video. What is that like? T was it uh, 2000? Well, I started in like 2008, I guess. So uh, yeah, you know, it's like 15 years. Um, the uh, certainly the world has changed a bit. Uh, America has. Uh, <laughs> America has become a fucking dumpster fire. Um, one of the reasons I felt compelled to try to get this, to do this today in particular was there's a, there are whistleblowers testifying before the House Weaponization of the Federal Government uh, meeting. And um, I don't know if you're following it. You really should be. Uh, Man, I don't even know where to start anymore. This is so fucked up. Uh, well, uh, let me let me see if I can. Uh, so, so things really. Fu I, I got really sick and tired of doing this because I really can't stand Democrats anymore. That was back then. Um, there was really no place for me, and it just got worse. And and uh, so part of Part of how how much it's gotten worse is since two, 2016. Um, maybe this is a point we can start with. Uh, the DNC uh, robbed Bernie Sanders, uh, blatant in a blatant. Uh, as to whether it's legal or not, I guess it could be. Uh, to me, it doesn't really matter if it's legal. The use of superdelegates and uh, delegates in the fashion that we have here, is particularly in the Democratic Party, is uh, it makes a fraud out of the whole process. It means that you are really just a kind of an NPC. You go through the motions, you ca cast your vote, whatever, but the people, the choices, the choices that you have are determined, are predetermined. And when your choices are determined, you don't really have a choice. And uh, a lot of people turned out, it turned out a lot of people don't give a shit about that. And uh, those people are not my political allies anymore. In fact, there's not much about the left that's a political ally of mine anymore. I wanted, I wanted uh, Medicare for all or single payer system. Uh, forgiveness of college debt would have been a good thing because of the way the economy's uh, turned out. Uh, I certainly don't want a bunch of wars, and I don't particularly care for uh, spoiling for a nuclear war. That turned out to be a big negative for me. Um, and culturally speaking, the only thing that the that the left peddles is this kind of uh, culture culture war. Uh, it's, it's a continuous conflict. And this, this conflict always is, is it, what it does is it separates us, it divides us, and the only power we ever had was in, a, it was in uh, numbers, and we don't have that anymore. In fact, I, I challenge you, if you can, please leave in the comments what you think we could do that could possibly stop what's going on now. And again, I'm overwhelmed. Like, I don't know where to start. The uh, the collusion between the government and corporations has reached a new high. And I used to go on and on about this back in the day, and I couldn't get anybody to get interested in this. They were so dead set on hating Republicans. Oh, COVID. Oh, my God. Yeah, there was that. Okay. Um, Jimmy Kimmel uh, stands as a perfect example of everything I would never, ever want to be associated with as far as the uh, treatment of others around the COVID uh, pandemic. That, uh, you know, hey, Wheezy, go die in the corner bullshit was just, uh, that was the beginning of the end for me, and it severed a lot of relationships I had with fellow progressives. 
progressives. Um, because uh, letting people die and killing people because of the differences is, is where I kind of draw the line. And a lot of people were very quick to judge. They didn't use any kind of skepticism or any kind of backbone or spine to decide for themselves if what they were hearing was true. And uh, it really initiated the single biggest Stasi-like move towards fascism in the United States that I have ever witnessed since, uh, well, I, haven't, I didn't witness it, but I mean, it would be McCarthy, I guess. But this is, um, this is a new level. And it's my personal opinion that there's no way out. And if you have a, a way out, I'd certainly like to hear it. Because if you're going to tell me it's about voting, then I don't really know that I could waste, your, waste my time or yours to talk about that. Because, because voting, especially, especially on the federal level, is a fraud. Um... Oh, I guess I guess I have to say, you know, I find myself siding, I guess you could say siding with Republicans on a lot of issues now. I don't know if it's really a lot, but it's some. And they're critical issues to me. They're to me the issue of uh of freedom. I know it sounds hack and I think liberals kind of hate it, but it's never been more important than it has become to me now because I've begun to I've really gotten to see what it's like to lose it and to be on the verge of becoming a fascist corporate fascist state which is really what we're dealing with here uh, the news right now uh, CNN and uh, all all of it is just uh, an absolute pile of of propaganda uh, corporate collusion with government it's propaganda they have no not the least interest in uh, the well-being of of the citizens of this country or the world for that matter they posture about global warming and all this other bullshit people like AOC what a what a what an amazing fraud she had me in the beginning she she campaigned on all these things and then she quickly turned into a fucking traitor and she's one of the worst now, one of the worst peddling fascist bullshit and hyper emotional crap that has nothing to do with freedom and everything to do with division and bigotry. And uh, that's not my thing. I'm not I'm not into that, really. So uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Republicans. uh let, let me let me be clear. It, it, it's it's possible that had things been turned around, like see, Trump scrambled the brains of of my friends. It just he just burned out like some critical thinking areas. They're just destroyed, and and it's like a mass formation psychosis, which I, I I encourage you to look up. Their reasoning capacity is 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 just fucking fried. There's there's nothing there anymore. It's all, it all goes through the filter of their hatred of Trump before anything. And so that, and so any contradictory information or data that doesn't make Trump the central focus of everything you do has no merit and no value. So it's like, it's like a flat earth uh, faith. You, you can't, like you can't say, like I don't even know what I can say on this Channel, I'm. I mean, this thing might get pulled. I don't even know. I, I mean, when I was on here, it was not like this. I said some things. I used uh, adult language, and I said the N word and other things used in context of of explaining what others say and think, and it was okay. Right, right now, you can't. You can't. There's words you just can't use. You're just not allowed. You know, it's you, you. You can try, but you'll be censored and shut down. And uh, and you, the conversation, you have to base. You have to save your conversation. Go through your conversation. Filter your conversation. It's really 1984 kind of shit. You got to filter everything out to make sure Big Brother doesn't get mad at you, and shut you down. And a lot of my fucking friends and the people on the left are fine with this shit, and it's amazing to me. 
I never had that. I never wanted that. I, 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 I think they just can't believe that I wouldn't be down with this horse shit. You have no idea what you're fucking with. The kind of shit you've brought down already. Ever since 9-11, well, you could go back. You can keep going back. The CIA, see, this just gets really tangled up. Anyway, you know, the CIA was an outward uh, marking event. That was not the act of a lone gunman who just didn't like, I don't know what. It, it was that, it, see, the, the government, the American government is now a mafia organization. And what people people don't like you to use the term deep state because it doesn't have to them it has no meaning. Uh, so you know I don't know what else to call it, but what it infers is there's there's what you see as your state as where you're allowed to uh, to behave and your representatives and and this whole like like show it's like a stage show that's the state, and then the deep state is who writes it. Who directs it? Who tells the characters what to say? And then it has a new dimension because because this is the audience. The audience participates in this in this fraud. So you have to be you have to be cajoled and patted on the head and made to feel like you have some say. Like your vote is really worth something. And for Democrats, this is the height of stupidity. It's unbelievable. Do you even know what superdelegates are? Do you know how they're chosen? Do you know that we have two parties for a reason and no one else is allowed to play in this game? Did you know that the League of Women Voters fucking quit in disgust over the debate procedures? Did you know that? And that was, I don't know, I guess I think it was in the 80s. I'm not even sure. It's easy to look up. Hey, you got chat GPT, you got uh, Bing now. Use Bing. Let me see. Do I have Bing? I have Bing somewhere, don't I? Let's have a look. Oh, let's see. That is that. That is nothing. What is that? Oh, that's my... That's my on-deck camera. All fucked up. Let's see. This would be... What the fuck is this? This is supposed to be... That's that. Oh, that's that. Okay. I'm sorry. Hold on. Maybe I'll edit this out. So we can go to Bing. Oh, this is going to be hard for you to see. So ask. let's ask Bing anything. Let's say, why did the League of Women Voters... quit moderating the debates. Why the ling of Can you see that? I don't think I don't think I can make it any bigger right now. Now I know, I please, I know that this is a Bill Gates deal. I mean it's all through this through the through the fucking tentacles of of the oligarchy. But it's you know it's new right now. It's kind of like the new internet. So it hasn't quite been uh, completely and thoroughly fucked. It is fucked. I can tell you that because I've been spending a lot of time with this thing. I, I was meaning to do some shows on it, but I gotta tell you, I, I just if, if the I just don't have the the fucking chutzpah to put up with this shit anymore and to just do stuff on on YouTube. I watch Jimmy Dore. I watch uh, uh, Russell Brand and. Uh, Kim Iverson and you know Glenn Greenwald and I get I get the information you know uh, I could comment that's about all I can do I have no first uh, primary resources or anything like that but anyway so the League of Women Voters withdrew its sponsorship of the presidential debates in 1988 because the demands of the two campaign organizations were perpetrate would perpetrate a fraud on the American voter that's in quotes here let me see in 1988 because quote the demands of the two or campaign organizations would perpetrate a fraud on the American voter. I mean, how do you... Nobody cares. 
Like nobody cares about that. And you watch these stupid fucking debates and act like this is real. Like these are adults, you know, with real fucking points and real issues to talk about and and the, hey, may the best person win kind of bullshit. What a fucking joke. And I laugh now. I do. I laugh. I, 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 I have less anxiety during this time of the most fucked up time in my life in political history in the United States because I used to think we had a chance. I used to think if I got out there and I, I was heard and, and I could help people form opinions, that there was a way we could salvage and change the direction of the state. <laughs> I don't have that anymore. I don't. I enjoy this. I enjoy talking about it. I enjoy the debate. Politics is fascinating. I love history and science and plenty of things that, that, it, that entertain me today. I'm retired. Um, but, I, but my angst over this, it, it, it's hopeless. This situation is hopeless. And I don't, I'm not, I'm not wedded to that concept, but I haven't ever heard anybody explain any way to stop it. And people get, give me this grassroots movement shit. Okay. All right. Maybe, maybe that could, maybe you could do that. But you, you, I mean, I don't know that you understand what we've created by allowing the upward transfer of wealth. We have created a financial royalty that is untouchable and has infiltrated the government of this country and is dead set on the world. I swear, I mean, I really believe that at this point. And how do I, how do I arrive at this? Partially because of COVID, because of the WHO. It never occurred to me that you could end run governments through a health organization, which is exactly what they've done. It's Bill Gates is is he heavily funds the WHO. They made billions off of this shitty thing they call a vaccine, which isn't a vaccine. Remember inoculation? Do you remember that? They don't use that word anymore. Because this thing is not a vaccine and it does not inoculate you. It's a little uh it's a it's an adjunct. It's something you can take to sort of help. And out of all of the existing drugs that could accomplish the same thing in a much safer way, they chose to ignore and forbid. That's the other thing. That was a major, major fucking Hitler move. That's some bullshit right there. I can't say the word, right? I'm not allowed to say it. It starts with an I. It's like the, it's a, an award-winning drug that is virtually harmless, cheaper than dirt, and could have easily, easily been, been uh, what you call it, massively and completely shared among the, the United States population, given in the proper dosage, with no harms, no harms that anywhere would approach anything near what the COVID vaccine is, is causing. Given at the proper dosage and in the proper fashion, it could be it could have been a prophylactic, meaning it could have helped prevent the infection from proceeding. I tried to tell people about this. It's it was it's not it's really not rocket science. It's not that difficult. Um. I I, I just I just I can go on and on. And there there are in silico tests. I don't think I don't know if you know what in silico means. It's one of the ways that, that medicines are developed in, in technology. It's a virtual way to model different drugs and different components of the drugs and how they affect or would interact with various diseases or organisms or cells or whatever. What was done initially was a test to see what effect ivermectin had. Oh, I said it. Oh, shit. Oh, well. What, it, what effect it would have against the coronavirus because the coronavirus has spikes. It, uh, it, see, I don't know how much any of you know about any of this, probably nothing, which is just exactly how they want it to be. All of this could have been easily 
shared and taught uh, through public service announcements and so forth, but that undermines the whole grift, okay? Um, the point was, ivermectin was not, see, you, you guys used to argue with me, you say, well, it's not going to cure it, it's not a cure, it's not a cure. Nobody said it was a fucking cure, and if they did, that was an overstatement. It could possibly prevent it, but it did not make those claims. It was not intended to make those claims. It was only intended to be something that would help prevent, like taking vitamin C or something for a, for a, uh, for a cold. Because of the way it works, it helped to mitigate the spike protein binding, and it also helped with the inflammatory response. Very simple. I've taken it. I've, I still have it. I take it whenever I feel like it, really, because I don't get. I'm not getting sick from things now. I had some minor COVID uh, uh, symptoms, and I took it. And I mean, I never got that sick. I mean, it wasn't even like a flu. <sighs> So anyway, th that all this all contributes to the mess we have right now. This is a fucking mess. And I do not foresee any possible way to stop what's going to happen. We're going to have a coin that's going to be a digital coin. They're going to be able to shut down your the things you buy, the places you go. They're going to know. They're going to do all this fucking shit. And nobody's going to stop them. Nobody's going to stop them, and they know it because you're stupid, and you're kept stupid because that's the way they want you. You don't have time. You got to go to work. You got to fuck with your kids. You got lots of, of obligations. There's no time to study economies and understand what's happening to you. You've got to stay busy. You've got to keep grinding, and you can find a million fucking channels on YouTube to tell you how you need to just keep grinding and make a lot of money so that they can fucking take it and tell you what you can do with it. It's just astoundingly stupid. We have digital currency now. And do you think, do you really think that the Fed is going to let digital currency compete with their little plans? You got to be out of your fucking mind. And you're not going to vote it away. They're going to do their own digital currency. And you're going to have to play by their rules. And all the motherfuckers that you think are going to represent you in the government, they don't give a fuck about you. They're all on the grift. That's really our biggest problem here in America. We have shitty people. We don't have people with the moral character to say no to money. They just won't do it. We love, we idolize money. It should be in greed we trust for this country. We fucking love money. And anything that has to do with money is okay. We're, go, we're, we're killing fucking Ukrainians seven to one for the, to Russians. And it's because of money and power. And just we just want to fuck with everybody. We want to get our fucking fingers in everybody's fucking assholes so we can play them like puppets. And that's what we do. And everything is sold to your emotions. You got to keep, we're going to keep you safe. Remember 9-11? Don't remember that far back? Fuck, many of you weren't even born. I do. I remember Kennedy. But you don't, you don't, you'll, you're never going to turn on a, a commercial media outlet or read a commercial publication that is going to, in any effective uh, way, share with you vital information that would help you make better decisions. That's not going to happen. The Atlantic is a big, giant, fucking liar. And I, I and <sighs> there's so much. Hey, you know, if I, I'll probably, I'll probably, since I finally got my feet wet on this thing, I'll probably try to do some more stuff. I'm going to tell you some shit about the Atlantic. And um, <clears throat> anyway, I, how long have I been going here? Oh my God, 24 minutes. Okay. So... I'd be interested to hear from you if you're still there. You can comment. Uh, I'll come by and check. I rarely ever used this channel before. Um, but since but since I've been gone, there's a lot of things like I only at, at least I have almost 2000 subscribers or something. And there's a lot of shit you can't even do until you have a certain number of su subscribers. So I I would be foolish to try all over again if I if I want to do I think I can live stream. I'm not sure. 
Uh, I haven't monetized this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna. That's another whole topic. Hey, if you can make money on YouTube, I say do it. But what you should do with your money, <laughs> I couldn't tell you because, uh, uh, you know, we have savings, but I literally don't know if it'll be there one day. I really don't. And it's just fucking amazing because I never saw this coming. And it would have been the farthest reaches in the back of my mind that something could get this far twisted. But we are so irrevocably fucked at this point that I think only catastrophic uh, world events will will shift anything at all. I, I, there's nobody's going to vote this away. You're, that no, so you got to you got to learn to think like a like a rich person. Think like, and I don't mean just rich. I mean billions. I mean people that we've helped accumulate the financial fortunes of small countries. Have you seen, um, what's that fucking, succession? Now, I know it's fiction. I've been traumatized by this. Somebody had to point out to me that Network, the movie, was fiction when I tried to use it as a uh, example. So I know it's fiction. But to help you understand my opinion and what I'm trying to say, if you look at succession, those people don't open doors. They don't even open their own doors. And it's like it doesn't even... It, that's just how it is. So when you live in an, in an isolated environment like that and where everybody says yes and everybody wants to lick your balls because everybody wants some money, everybody wants money, 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 money. You are such a fucking load of weak, spineless cunts that want money above everything. That's why we're fucked. We don't value anything but money. Oh, and uh, plastic surgery, thigh gap, thigh gap is big, lips, but not like, not like wisdom, philosophy, uh, the sciences, scientific inquiry, uh, philosophy, none of that shit. That's, that's for eggheads and stupid pussies that don't have any money and are poor and stupid and you laugh at them. We really, we really took a bad turn with this fucking place. I, I, I just don't, I don't see it as redeemable. But I mean, if you, if you think so, I'd love to hear it. Uh, I'm just going to ride it out, really. I mean, I'm 66. I've, I have had two heart attacks that I know of, and I say that because I, because I've, <laughs> I experienced angina and stuff, and I've, I've been told a couple of times they were heart attacks that I didn't do anything about. But anyway, that's another story. What I'm saying is. Oh, of course, with that, that brings up the medical situation. Any country, okay, any fucking country that doesn't have health care, and I know, I know that government is bad. This is a particularly bad government. But some places it's not quite as fucked up as it is here. Like, the government I used to think we had, you know, I would think, well, yeah, we should have, uh, like, a public health care system. And even during a pan, this is a <laughs> during a pandemic, you couldn't get a fucking Democrat to go to bat for for health care for all. It's astounding when people live like this. Like I feel like a fucking alien in this world. I swear to God, you could go up to any Democrat and say, "Hey, you know." Um, what do you think about that? About the fact that we don't have health care yet, and we we hired we got this this uh, we had a Democratic majority, and we got the, the the progressive squad in there, and and AOC, and all this kind of bullshit. And they'd be like, "Well, you know, the Democrats are trying, but the Republicans just won't let it happen." I've heard that fucking shit since the day I started, and I've tried to tell you: if you want to see people get shit done, watch a fucking Republican. And here's the reason for that. Firstly, Democrats are conditioned to be losers. They are comfortable being the victim, and that's just pervasive. They don't know what it's like to win. It doesn't feel right. Beyond that, they're paid to lose. It's very important. They are the, 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 the I have the most contempt for the Democrats, and here's why. We are where we are 
because of their failure, not because of Republican success. Well, indirectly we are, because Republicans succeed because they don't have to compete with anything. You don't do anything. You're not going to do anything. Nancy Pelosi's not going to let you do anything. She went over there and bitched at uh, AOC, made her cry or whatever. Don't you do it? You don't want you to do it. She's like, oh, mama bear says I got it. You boo boo. She's a fucking. Uh, and you people love her. She comes up on my Facebook thing and they're like, oh, I love you. Oh my God, you got my money. I'm taking all my money. <laughs> And then what does she do? She goes on these softball fucking interviews where people go, isn't Trump horrible? And she can go, oh, he's, he's, he's just treasonous, horrible, horrible, treasonous violence, violence, horrible, treason, violence, women, violence. Republicans are awful. I mean, it's the easiest job in the world. It's the easiest job in the world. You just have to have no fucking spine. And no moral outrage. You have to channel it into fucking bullshit that's, that's secondary. And it doesn't matter when the fucking backbone of your country is being ripped out and replaced with some kind of alien fucking shit. It just, it, it, we really built a bunch of fucking idiots in this country. I think, you know, I, I, I think, you know, George Carlin wasn't really against education. He just knew that it wasn't going to happen. And he was right. He was right about all that shit. And I thought he was a little bit too on the negative. But now it's all true. They don't want people sitting around figuring out how they're getting fucked. Are you kidding? That empowers you. You might have had more power when it mattered. Now you have power. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to go vote for RFK? I mean, look, look, I'll do it. But <laughs> you got to know that I have no fucking... Uh, Fast, uh, fantasies that my voting <laughs> for RFK is going to make a fucking difference. I would just like, you know, I'd like to see them cope with it. Because if you got a, a, a lot of votes, they're going to have to they're going to have to rush a gate the fuck out of this thing, too. You know, because they can't have it. This government, this, this system is done with your fucking votes. Your votes are just a fucking uh, uh, inconvenience. And they're working on that. They're going to get all that fixed up. And it'll be like a little fucking, uh, it'll be like a science fiction movie where like uh, all the little peoples come to vote and they vote their way and they do, you, 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 I voted, I voted. Oh, look what I'm going to get. My candidate will win. Yay. And their candidate comes up and he looks like more she. The crystals will say that we must be peaceful. And then she'll let everything horrible happen. Or... My gun says, I hate motherfuckers, and I'm going to kill them all. And then she'll do the same thing, and it'll all benefit the same people. And we all go around going, hey, I did the right thing. Don't blame me. I didn't vote for Trump. Don't blame me. I didn't vote for Trump. Don't blame me. I didn't vote for Biden. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it's fucked, man. It's fucked up. Uh, I don't know. I, I still have fun talking about it, you know? So, but I don't know that you need, you don't need really another person, do you? You've got Jimmy Dore and Kim Iverson and, you know, Glenn Greenwald. These are real, I mean, you know, they have people working for them. I don't really have that. But if I entertain you and you like to be entertained, uh, I will probably do more things I'll probably do more things just because it's kind of fun for me I like technical shit I always liked you know putting together this uh let's see but my but my uh my green screen's fucked up it's not enough room see my hand disappears uh, I'm in my bedroom what are you gonna do so anyway hey and I wanted to say if you're still there there's so many people that were so kind to me and I I wish I could remember everyone's names because it's just not fair if I say just a few. I mean, some of your names I, re I do recall, but generous donations, you were, I, I didn't even beg, I don't think. I don't remember what I did for donations, but I got, I got some donations, and it was beautiful, and it was wonderful, and, I, and it wasn't really the reason I did this, and it's not the reason I'm doing it now, because I don't think I have a snowball's chance in hell, okay? First of all, the words that I say that are scanned now will probably trigger some kind of fucking censorship horse shit. You know, it's, it's really fucking Big Brother. I mean, it's like Winston here. It, this is fucked up. 
But uh, again, I wanted to thank you, and uh, and if some of you are put off by this, I'm sorry. You know, I hope you, I hope you know, find your way, find your way, find your joy, find your mission, find your your purpose. But uh, um, I, you know, I would love to hear somebody tell me what would be a real. See, because what I think you, what you, what I think you don't realize is you have to have leverage. And since your vote was never worth a shit, you never had any leverage. You never gave, you never demanded any leverage for anything, at least in this country. So you're paying the consequences for that. I mean, they sampled the water. They know that you don't get, you're not going to do anything. You know, you don't care. You'll, there's no level of, of fraud that you won't put up with. Like you think, you think Donald Trump you think he colluded with Russia. And so you are fucking incensed about that, right? But you don't give a shit about Hillary Clinton and the DNC, which hasn't changed. I mean, they changed a couple things, but this is all superficial. They are never going to relinquish anything of substance to the people. For them to do so, you'd have to give me a reason why they would. Why? They don't need you. Anyway, uh, I've gone on here for 36 minutes. Holy fuck. Nobody's going to watch it that long. Oh, I keep pulling my stupid earbuds. But anyway, hey, it's been fun. Um, uh, maybe I'll do something else. So come on by and see me. And uh, what do they, they all say? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. And then everybody uses their hands now. And they have to talk like this. Hey, 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 guys! I was talking about I was talking about politics today, and then I was thinking the politics are going to be the politics. Does this make you Does this make you listen better? Because I think if I have to do this, I'm going to shoot myself in the fucking head. So listen better, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, listen. Hey, guys. Like, subscribe, like, and subscribe down below. Hit the do down below. Hit the scoopu over here, and then maybe I can get some commercial insertions. Hit the doobly doo, the scoopy to pop, the fucky suck. No, but you know, honestly, if you're making money on here, God bless you. But fucking, <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna say save it, but uh, the way things—I mean, you should save something. But uh, the way things are going, you might as well just live it up because we're fucked. And I'll see you uh, some other time in the future, and I'm looking forward to hearing something. And I don't expect to hear anything because most of the things I do, I don't hear anything. And if I do, it's because I piss somebody off or they're going to tell me how fucking stupid I am. Okay. Okay.